Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and today I'll teach you how to make a glass render like this one using a free dragon model. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so press X to delete the default cube, and then we will use an example mesh that you can find in the link in the description. It's free. Then I'm going to select it and then download the scan. And then select the uh, zip file and unzip the uh, zip file. And then we can go into Blender, and then go to File, Import, and then Import.obj. And then select the unzipped folder, and then select the Dragon object. And then Import, then press R, X, then minus 90. And then we need to scale it down, so press S to scale. And then next we can go to Object and set it to Shade Smooth to add some extra smoothness to the object. And then press Shift A and let's add a plane, which will be the floor. And then press S to scale. Then next we need to add the materials. So uh, let's start off by adding a glossy material for the floor. So uh, let's set the uh, surface to uh, glossy. And then let's select the dragon and add a glass shader. We're also going to change the render engine to uh, cycles because uh, cycles renders glass much better. And then I'll set the device to GPU, but if you only have a CPU, you can just use the CPU and then set the number of samples to 128. And then we need to select the light and uh, change it into a sun. And then I'll set the strength of the sun to uh, 15, which uh, should be enough. And as you can see, we have the uh, glass and we can also rotate the sun. So press R twice to uh, rotate the sun freely. And then let's select the floor, and I'm going to uh, make it a little bit darker. So something like this. And then if you select the uh, dragon and decrease the roughness and change the uh, color, you can see that there is something that's missing, and that is the background image. And adding a background image will make the glass look a lot better. So uh, let's go into the world settings. And then let's add an environment texture. And then we can go to uh, the website in the description, which has free background images. And make sure to select one of the brighter background images. And then unzip the file. And then go back to Blender and then open the uh, HDR image inside the folder. And as you can see, thanks to the HDRI image, we get a much better looking glass shader. And we can also hide the overlay. And you can play around with the different colors and levels of roughness for the shader. And then once you have a color that you like, we can go to the next step of the tutorial, which is to set up the camera and set up the render. And then press numpad 0 to uh, look through the camera. And then press N, go to view and lock camera to view. And then let's go to solid view. And then we need to select the camera to increase the range of the camera. So uh, go into the camera settings and set the end value to around 10,000, should be enough. And then I'll set the camera around here. And then let's go into the render settings. And then I'll set the tile size to 512 because I use a GPU. If you only use a CPU, you can just leave them at 64. And then let's do a test render. 
And as you can see, it looks great, but we can also add some AI denoising to the render. So uh, let's uh, exit the render. And then I'll set the uh, resolution to 4K. And then I'll also change the uh, color slightly. So something like this. And then next we can add the uh, AI denoising. So go to uh, compositing and then click use nodes and then drag the compositing node and then press shift A and search for denoise. And then we need to enable denoising data and then connect denoising normal to normal and then denoising albedo to albedo. And then click render image. And uh, after a few minutes of rendering, we have the render. And then at the end, you can see the AI denoising working. Okay, so let's save the image. So you go to image, save as, and then you can save the image on your computer. And uh, then let's go back to the viewport, 3D viewport, and then you can play around with the colors and uh, render new images. So uh, I'm going to save before I end the tutorial. So save as, give it a name, and then enter to save. And uh, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and more tutorials coming soon.